Hi, it's your favourite Yorkshire demo here. This is Suzanne at hullabaloo.com and welcome to series three of my Wrapped in Christmas Project Kit video series. So if you haven't bought my kit yet, this will be one of the last opportunities for you to do so. So if you need any further information, please bob over to my blog, which is hullabaloo.com forward slash project kits. Or if you click on kits at the top, it'll take you into the page also. So this video is video three of showing you how to use some of that leftover paper following you completing the kit and the projects inside it. Um, so today is a slimline pouch made from a full sheet of the 6x6 paper um, and the wrapped in Christmas stamps out. Um, it's probably ideal size for putting treats like maybe Kit Kats inside, something, you know, just to pop on somebody's table, little table favours, stocking fillers, that kind of thing. Um, it measures five inches wide by two and three quarters high and it's half an inch deep. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So first of all, you will need one of the six by six sheets that you've got left over from the Tis the Season paper included in the kit. So I have gone for this garden green pattern that's got feathers, holly and these deers on. This one was more of a holly pattern with a bit of real red and garden green within it. Um, so I'm going for this one this time. I'm just going to grab my scoreboard. There is not much scoring that you need to do with this, but I'll show you how to score it and get your directional paper the correct way. So as you can see, this one is a directional paper. So you need it the correct way on these first set of scores. So you're going to score it at half an inch. Now you can rotate it and score half on the other side, or you can score at five and a half. And then rotate it 90 degrees score it at two and three quarters and three and a quarter and that is all the scoring required so i'm just going to get my bone folder and we're going to crease those lines only gently because it's only paper you don't need to burnish the life out of it like so as you will see, we know that way is the wrong way because the deers are upside down. So if we turn it this way, that is going to be my front. There is a small bit of um, cutting that we have to do. And as you can see, you've got rectangle, square, rectangle on both sides. The square in the middle needs cutting straight on both sides. And then we're going to wedge and take a small little nick out of that so i'll just push that one back so you can see what i'm doing here so i'm literally just angle cutting it and that's so that that square doesn't get in our way when we're bringing the box together we're going to do the same on the opposite side so straight up both sides of that square and cut in two little wedges one on each side like so and that's all the cutting and all the scarring that we need to do so I'm going to grab my seal. So this is a tape runner, which is good for sticking paper to paper. And I'm just going to pop a bit on that little tab we've got on both sides. And then I'm also going to attach it um, onto the tab, which is going to be the back. So I know that that's the front. So I know I need to put the glue on this back one here. So on both sides and then to build it up we need to bring in fact we'll start on this side so my adhesive is on this one we need to bring that round and then stick a little tab onto it because we're going to hide that little tab between the two layers bring it all round and then just line that up and stick that down and then do the same on the other side so glue tab in first line it up with that little tab stick that on it 
and then bring the tab from the front over keep it all nice and straight make sure it all lines up and then stick that down so as you'll see we've got the main part of the box already so what i did on this one is i pierced some holes so that i could fit the th um, ribbon through so i used just a piercing tool to do that you could use a hole punch um, but i wanted to show you how to do it without any additional kit so you could do this with just a normal paper piercer you could use a pen you could use anything that's sharp but just make sure you keeping your fingers out of the way as you do so um, and it about an inch away from the edge and just about a half centimetre in from the top just going to pop and do it gently because with it being paper you could end up ripping through so there we go and all I'm doing is on this tool I'm making sure I'm going right to the tip of the tool so I can get the thickest part and make as big a hole as possible with the tool obviously not too big but big enough to get my ribbon through and the same on the other side inch from the edge about half a centimetre from the top and we'll just pop another hole in there right through okay so we've got our holes there like so i'm going to get the ribbon from the kit so this is the real red shear ribbon that's included i'm just going to feed this through the holes like so so go from the front to the back and then from the back to the front on the other side and just be a little bit careful when you're pulling the ribbon through any quick and sudden movements and it just might tear the paper just feed it through this last hole like so there we go and then just make sure it isn't twisted on the back here as we pull it together and then I'm just going to fold this over and tie a bow so knot it up tie a bow Sort those loops out, and then just tidy the loops up as you see fit. There we are, and then we're just going to trim those bits of ribbon into some nice tails, like so. There we have our ribbon. So now I have got, um, as you can see, not very many, but I've got one of the star ornaments that included in the kit and I've kept it on its string. Other videos, you may have seen me trim the string and so on. All I'm going to do with this is make that loop shorter by putting a knot in it further down. So not too far down, you want to be able to get the ribbon through like so so i've got mine just over half an inch from the edge and then i'm going to trim the excess away because we don't want to see that and then with this loop that we've got left i'm just going to feed it over the ribbon like so so if you feed it over one side first Feed it through. There we go. Get into the middle and then you can feed the other side through. I'm just going to put the tail through first. So if the loop's rather small, I don't want to risk breaking it. And then the same with this one. Bring that loop through like so. might need a third hand here 
Ah, there we go, we're through. Sort your loops back out as they were. And then we want that star in the middle there. There we go. There. So now all that's left is the stamping. So this is from the Wrapped in Christmas stamp set, which is included in the kit. And it's the biggest stamp up here at the top. Um, I felt that on my other projects, I'd gone for the smaller stamps first. So I've used this one already. I've used this one, this one. Um, and I felt it was time to use the larger one. So I've got a piece of Whisper White. Uh, and you can get this from the card pack that I included in the project kits. You'll have enough left to do this. Um, so this piece is four inches wide by one and one eighth um, tall. And we're just going to grab the Whisper uh, Real Red Matching Ink. And um, so this goes with the ribbon. And I've already got it mounted on a... Um, what block have I got? I've got this on a H block. Now the blocks aren't included in the kit, but you can purchase them as an add-on if necessary. Um, and I'm just going to line up this on my grid paper so that I get my stamping straight. And then centre that onto the white piece and stamp. There we go. I got a bit overzealous at the top there, so I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to go again. So we'll keep that straight. The good thing about card is there is two sides. There we go, that's better. I'll pop that red ink away. And then I've got a piece of real red which matches the ink and the ribbon. And this is four and one eighth of an inch by one and a quarter. So we're going to pop this onto there now. Uh, and I'm going to use seal again. And then just centre that up onto the piece of red. Like so. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to use dimensionals on mine. Um, but you can use any adhesive you want. I just felt it needed a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm just going to use three of these on the back. Like so. Fill those backings off. Put them in the bin, but then find them scurrying around the room at a later date because they get everywhere. Let's get that the right way up and then I'm just going to centre that near the bottom there like so and there you are a blessings pouch made using one sheet of the leftover designer series paper from the wrapped in Christmas project kit I hope you've enjoyed the video so far there is one more left that is to come next week you, that means you only have just over a week before the um, project kit closes and no more orders will be taken. So if you let me know if you want to order one, um, I will gladly help. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.